Hey y'all, this is part 10, and we're going to be adding an element in general, and to an array. Now, we've added an element to the back, we've added an element to the front, we've reassigned an element, but let us consider the case where we want to just, and the word for this is actually splice, an element into an array at a specific uh, index, but we don't want to get rid of any of the existing elements. So we're going to use a method called splice, but you want to keep in mind that splice is going to be featured in the next couple of videos, basically because it's rather robust. There's a lot of things that we can do with it, so we'll start with adding an element in general. So here uh, is a demonstration without any real context, and we're going to analyze this rather, rather more carefully than we do most of the other ones. So here's the array. We're saying array.splice2, 0, 3. So if we run this, we're going to see the array with the newly added element is 1, 2, 3. And so here's essentially what's going on here. The first element, or sorry, the first argument to splice is the index where you want to perform your splice. So we said index 2, which is going to be right here. The second argument refers to how many elements we want to delete. So that gives you a little hint about what Splice might be up to in other iterations. But for this iteration, we're saying zero because we don't want to delete anything. The third element, and subsequently third, fourth, fifth, and sixth, are elements you want to add into the index where we are splicing. So we enter at index two, delete zero elements, and by index two, don't be fooled by this highlighting here, it's actually here. So we're at index two, we delete nothing, and we insert three. So as a result, we get one, two, three, four. Let's talk about uh, some alphabetically ordered items. Bacon, egg, okay. And then if we scroll down to about here. There we go. So our alphabetically ordered items are bacon, eggs, and yogurt. The new item is sausage, and the index of the new item needs to be here because sausage goes after eggs alphabetically, but before yogurt. Uh, alphabetically ordered items dot splice. Index of the new item is going to be two. We're deleting zero, and this is this is consistent. If we're going to add an element in general, this is always going to be zero because, uh, by definition, we're adding an element. We're not deleting anything. And the new item is going to be the third argument. So the list of alphabetically ordered items with the new item added should now look like bacon, egg, sausage, yogurt. I read a lot of these problems when I'm hungry, so that's why you get a lot of breakfast stuff. Um, okay, so adding an element in general, coding challenge. We are going to complete a function that takes in three parameters, an array, an index, and an element, adds the element to the index of the array without replacing any of the existing elements, and returns the array. Your function should use the splice method to add the input element to the input array at the given index and without replacing any of the existing elements, then return the array. Below are examples of the code running, assuming that you will have completed the described function, add an element in general. Now, let's take a quick moment to just um, recognize something. These problem definitions are extraordinarily repetitive. We basically say the same thing almost exactly twice, usually the second time describing the method that we're going to apply. Uh, that's on purpose. This is module zero. It's possibly for people who have never JavaScripted before. So that's why we're doing things in a very um, over and over repetitious sort of manner. But with that in mind, let's go ahead and copy our function stub. And I'm actually going to leave this here just because it might be useful to kind of have a glance at this idea of splice, index of the new item, zero to delete nothing, and the new item being inserted there. So there's our function stub, and here is our, our, our test cases. So add element to the array at the given index, be sure not to replace any existing elements. So as we saw, that's essentially this right here from the docs. So if we implement that, it's going to be array.splice at the index of the new item. We're going to delete zero items, and the item that we're inserting is the element. Now you might hear me say item, element, and use those interchangeably. That's just kind of the way things go. Then return the array, so we'll return the array. Provided we get something that looks like these two test cases should, then we're on the way. Excellent. Let's copy our function now that it's completed. Put it back in the input window. And we have tended our garden. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And we'll see you in the next one.